Hey, it's uh, John Reed, JDOD. I'm back with uh, Espresso Tutorials. This time I've got Jörg, though. How's it going? Hi, thanks. Done Very with, good. Done with Martin. You're next. I'm the second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but actually, I wanted to talk to you about community because I think that learning and professional growth is really tied to communities now. And in the SAP field, it's not enough to read a book. You need connections. You need not just friends, but people you can turn to when you're in trouble. Exactly, John. So it's a connection to many people that are interested in the same topic. And of course, not one person knows everything. So right. it's important to have different people involved that are have the same goal, like the controlling conference here, or uh, financial accounting, or SAP in general. So communities are worth going for. And you went from launch in 2007. Now you have uh, 5,000 subscribers, which is a fairly significant amount. Yeah, it all started in 2007, so it was a website we put up, a forum we put up, and actually it's hard to start it, because when you got yeah. nothing there, no one is interested. Right, it's like a ghost town at first. It yeah. is, it is. So at the beginning, we were writing on our own, and since it well, got bigger and bigger... How come we didn't give up? You, did you see a few signs of growth? that encouraged you to stick with it or uh, the best day was when the first external post was dead ah uh, the first post yeah that's a good day right <laughs> yeah you're not gonna have to create all the content yourself exactly and then it starts and you were saying now you get some is it 20 posts a day or something like it's that? it's 20 posts per day yeah that are all community members asking controlling questions it's a mixture it's a mixture from financial accounting general ledger uh, profit center accounting controlling right uh, even something uh, SAP in general about HANA, so um, it's a mixture that people are interested in. Yeah. And for us as a book cup, uh, publishing company, it helps to figure out which topics are in. Right, and it's primarily a German-speaking community. It is. It's Germany, Austria, Switzerland. And you able to use this community to build out uh, ebook platform and also conference. Yes, we're advertising our books there, and uh, in the second year in a row, we are presenting a conference, which is, by the way, also free to visit. So um, it's good not only to have a virtual community, but also to bring the community together. And you're primarily funded by uh, sponsors slash advertisers uh, who are part of the SAP ecosystem that purchase visibility on the site. Exactly. Is that right? Do your, do your visitors have any problems with advertising, or are they they find it relevant or no no not at all they like the idea to have content there and they like to link their name together with the content so it first began with a consulting company who wanted to link their banner then there was uh, companies building add-on solutions on SAP and in the end it was also SAP interested in the community yeah. to get the message out so there. so they're not annoyed by ads like I am when I'm on a site I see like pop-ups and they they find it relevant to what they're doing. It, it's a mixture. We yeah. ask them once a year how they like the ads, if it's too much or not, and we're still in the green area. You still f you're still on the good side. Yeah, yeah. And there then there's also this question with communities of how much data you extract from people. I w I was interested to learn you don't really ask people to provide a lot of demographic information to you. It's pretty much like email and go. Is that yeah your approach? Why did you decide to keep it so simple? Because the people normally um, give you data when they are uh, convinced that you're the right place to be. Mm. So uh, we keep it simple that they are able to start. So everyone can read in the forum, but when they want to write something, they have to sign in. And to sign okay. in, it's simply the email address. And when they have to want to go to further with the conversation, they put in additional information about their personal ID. So it's kind of a gradual process where they disclose more over time. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing those lessons. Building communities is no small task, as I've found. I've failed at it a number of times. So congrats on doing it. Thanks for having me here. Later.